Tomorrow morning, many of you will put your kids on a school bus and no parent thinks that it could be the very last time they see their child. On Friday, a 13 year old boy was killed when his school bus was hit by a train. Teresa Woodard shows us how his community is planning a visual show of support. Thank you very much. Athens screen printing never opens on Sundays and never has racks this bare. This store is the source of school spirit in Athens, Texas. On this day, it is a spirit of loss. This is what love does. It's an action. It speaks for itself. It seems most every student in North and East Texas will be an honorary Athens Hornet on Monday. Dozens of districts put out pleas on social media asking students to wear Athens school colors. So staff here worked on a day off, selling almost every piece of maroon in stock. We don't even have to know you. We are going to come together as a community. It's just love. Simple as that, it's love. Friday at 4 p.m., an Athens school bus briefly stopped right here at the railroad crossing at Cream Level Road on the northeast side of town. There are no warning lights or arms. It is unclear why the 78-year-old bus driver didn't stay stopped. A westbound Union Pacific train was bearing down and barreled right into the bus, dragging it to another crossing about a quarter of a mile away. A girl was critically injured, a boy killed. Christopher Bonilla was just 13 years old, a student here at Athens Middle School. Jocelyn Torres, nine years old. She goes to Central Athens Elementary, just a few miles away. Monday will be a difficult day at both campuses and far beyond. Everyone is feeling the loss of a loved one because we're one big family here in the community. So when one hurt, all hurt. Torres and Bonilla were the only students on the bus. Their stop would have been the final stop on the Friday afternoon route. How, why, investigators can't yet answer. But a community has answered a call for prayers, unity, and love. In Athens, Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News.